Are we witnessing the greatest English team ever produced? Um, one of them, yeah, certainly. Uh, and certainly one of them during the Premier League era. I mean, you can look back at the Liverpool side of the 70s and early 80s and say that they were a brilliant football side and they dominated certain aspects of both domestic and European football. Um, and then you can look at the Manchester United side um, that went on to do the treble. So it's difficult to argue and to just to, to, to isolate Manchester City and say that but the style of Manchester City and the manner in which Pep Guardiola has change certain aspects of the Premier League and it has whether we like it or we don't like it he has changed people's thinking about how the game can be played at certain times um, and so I think there's an argument to say this is one of the finest teams I'm never really happy suggesting that you compare eras and say that you know would Mike Tyson have beaten Muhammad Ali and so on <laughs> and so forth yeah, and is Man City yeah. a better side than Liverpool and Manchester United what they are in their own right is a remarkable football team no doubt about it. Yes. I mean, yes. we must, we, you know, look, Wayne Rooney was right. He was right to suggest that over two legs um, that um, that they would smash him. Now, obviously, broken clocks get to be right twice a day. Um, but <laughs> in the instance of Real Madrid, we must, this wasn't the best version of Real Madrid, but it was the best version of Manchester City. So, so with that in mind, you can only beat what's in front of you. Real Madrid have turned over sides in the Champions League last year when they weren't, weren't the best version of themselves then either. So you've got to give it to Manchester City. They did what we thought they would do, which was beat Real Madrid over two legs. Uh, the manner in which the second leg uh, unfolded um, details that it, they come away with all the reflective glory of it. Yeah. And now they've got to go and close the final furlong. That's right. You know, I they've mean... got to go and do the job, which is win the, ch the Champions League irrespective of whether he says that he never had conversations with Man City's ownership back in the day that the Champions League was a thing that he had to win, I find that slightly implausible. Mm. Um, but notwithstanding that, they're in the, they're, they, they, if they don't win this Champions League now, there's going to be someone, a few people saying, how have you not done that this year? Well, that's right. And yeah. they've got the FA Cup, which is a small matter of eclipsing or at least emulating Manchester United's achievements of a historic and Man United being the gatekeeper for that. Yes, exactly. So that's an interesting one. They just blow away everybody that stands in front of them, Simon. And and some of the, 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 the clubs, some of the teams that have been standing in front of Manchester City are formidable in their own right. Indeed. Manchester City have beaten Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Manchester United, Liverpool and Arsenal this season yep. by three or more goals. They are They are, at this moment in time, the best football team probably in world football. So these achievements are not something I, I, I sort of suck in my breath and go, well, that was something. That, you kind of know it's coming. Yes. Um, I, I think that with the addition of Haaland and with the, uh, you know, the increasing performance that he gets from players, it's all well and good that we argue that he gets this, you know, this bountiful level of riches. Yeah. But he still turns them into better players. He still turns them into better outcomes and the team gets better and Haaland has come in and given them another dimension a dimension that last year they didn't need because yeah. they won the Premier League. They do need it in the Champions League. It creates a different culture of fear in the opposition. So it's all theirs now. It's all theirs. If they don't do the treble, then they'll only have themselves to blame and they'll have to answer the questions as to why they didn't because they are the best side. They should blow Man United away in well, the cup final and they, they should beat Milan. And, and you, I, I, I think to be fair to you, have uh, it's almost like a newfound appreciation of what we're seeing. I think no. you're a member of that club. Or no. were you always in I'm that club? Always, I've never had an issue with the on-field stuff. You cannot argue. You can just be difficult. If you want to be opaque about things and just yeah. sit with the position because you don't like other things and say everything... I'm not, I'm not one of these fans that has to hear only good things and if I say one bad thing, I get criticised. I can have always said, unarguably, undebatably, Manchester City are a brilliant, 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 brilliant football team.